This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Manchester United facing Real Madrid. Well, Derek, you just wonder what those players are thinking right now. Some will be nervous, some will be excited, and some may be anxious. But once that whistle blows, we're going to be in for an absolute classic here. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea between the posts. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Fred starts alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Scott McTominay. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Well read to put an end to that attack. Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the greatest players of the current era, and you'd have to imagine, Stuart, he's going to have some sort of role to play in this one. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? Determined defending. Something to worry about here. He's foiled them on his own. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. An unforced error, you've got to say. Scott McTominay. Bruno Fernandes has it. Fred. It's with McTominay. Bruno Fernandes. Fred. On to Bruno Fernandes. Fred. Really vital interception. Mendy. Vinicius Jr. Well, sloppy in possession. Rafael Varane. Here's Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Fred. And that was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. Karim Benzema. Rodrigo. On to Benzema. And the ball taken forward by Tony Kroos. He has options around him. Mendy. Karim Benzema in the thick of things. And it's in! Real Madrid strike first in the Champions League final. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next.
Well, the half-time interval is fast approaching. Real Madrid leading. Stuart, your critique of their first-half display. Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Real find themselves in a position of menace. Well, that's really good awareness of the situation. He just places that beyond the keeper. That's a top-class finish. Well, a second goal for them here. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Bruno Fernandes. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Rashford. And dispossessed. Beautiful pass. And the attack looks promising. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Speculative ball fired to the near post. Clumped clear. Benzema. And a fine tackle. Jaden Sancho. Ronaldo. Giving the ball away. Lucas Vasquez. What can Real do from this position? Luka Modric. Now with Benzema. Well, he needed to read it to get there and did. Benzema. He's protecting it well. Clattered away. David Alaba. This is Kroos. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Benzema is with Vinicius Junior. Space and time for the cross. Well cleared away. Got McTominay. Bruno Fernandes has it. Oh, that's a fine pass. Vinicius Junior. This is Kroos. And he put it away. And there it is. Three goals in front now. An immense performance.
Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. rather comfortable for them 3-0 Fred now we're inside the final 15 minutes Rashford Fred McTominay And the counter looks on here. Options available. Mendy. Casemiro. Tony Kroos. And they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Lucas Vasquez. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done high degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that and it was close well his skill level is so high you're absolutely right that's a great effort on the volley Fred. Now Casemiro. Benzema. Tony Kors. The ball with Luka Modric. Modric. Can they convert? And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. And there it is! Real Madrid, Champions League winners! Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Real Madrid. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories.